let's go Yeah, I wanna wait, no, I wanna wait, let's run Hey guys, it's Chelsea Monet. Welcome back to my channel um, As you guys can see, I am in the baby room The nursery is not fully complete But I will be uploading a nursery um, vlog Is it a vlog? Nursery tour, there we go um, but today's video is going to be on our hospital bags. Um, the baby's hospital bag and my hospital bag. The I'll, sh I'll be showing you guys a couple of things. The rest of them I'll be naming off. Um, so let's start with the baby's hospital bag because he doesn't need as much as I need. Simply because the hospital will be giving us a lot of stuff. So this is his diaper bag and it's also the bag we'll be using to take to the hospital um i really love this bag already because it has so many compartments in it um it comes with this what is this like charger thing that you can like hook up um and either keep like your diaper warmer connected or as well as your phone and then it also had has this other compartment. It does have a lot of zippers, but this is the main reason why I wanted this bag because it it opens up as you guys can see. Um, but I have to de detach the hook part. But long story short, it opens up to a diaper changing area. So anytime we're traveling, um, if I don't want him to be put on like a public changing table or something of that nature, um, I literally can just open up his diaper bag, lay him in there, grab the stuff outside of the diaper bag or that's already in the diaper bag, change him, put it back up. Then it's a backpack so it makes it a lot easier to travel um, as well as I'll still be like hands free. So that was something that was well thought out um, on my end. And I was really happy somebody bought that one for me off of my registry. So I got him two going home outfits because I couldn't decide. It was either going to be just a plain newborn onesie with these cute little gray sweatpants shorts or the pants depending on how cold or not cold it is because we do live in Texas. And so right now um, it feels like the devil's lair um we hit the three digit numbers every day um uh, feel like at least probably not every day i'm probably being dramatic but long story short it's hot out here okay. and then i also forgot i picked up this cute little outfit at h m when i first found out i was pregnant and it is just so cute to me it has the matching hat as well as the matching pants um like i said this outfit does depend on how hot it is out here but most of the time, babies like to be warm anyway, so um, I feel like it still might be okay. But those are his two going home outfits. I am also packing him, well I also have already packed him, uh, two pair of mittens and three pairs of socks. The hospital is going to give me blankets, noonies, diapers, and uh, bottles as well. I was going to bring at least one or two of the Como Tomo bottles simply because those bottles are supposed to help with colic as well as supposed to be close to um, the nipples that we actually have as humans. Um, I am going to breastfeed so I really don't think I need a bottle but I think I'm going to bring one just in case. Something else I'm also packing in his bag is my Hakka silicone pump. Um, just so it can catch the milk from the opposite boob that he's feeding from while he's feeding. Um, as well as this is, someone gave me the recommendation to um, do this when I'm in labor. Like to help pass the time to get my boob to start flowing. So that way when he does come out and he does attach, um, hopefully something does come out. You know, it's different with every with everybody. Some people it takes like one to two days for their milk to come in three to four days and then some people it takes three to four weeks so you just never know so i just want to be prepared so the next thing i'm bringing um in his diaper bag i just recently ordered from amazon but it's his vitamin k drops i know the hospital 
does recommend a vitamin K shot. But I'd rather do the drops because shots just don't sit right with me. So I'll be bringing that to the hospital as well. As well as this little folder. Um, I have to put his name on it at the top. But this filing folder is something that I created. Um, well, obviously I didn't create the folder itself. But it's just going to help me stay organized. Um, it has my birthing plan in it. I'm going to put his birth certificate in it, his social security card, um, any medical records, any school records, just anything important that has to do with the baby. This is how I'm going to stay organized from literally start to finish. I also included um, a couple of birth burping cloths as well as some nipple cream um, just in case. People always say that your nipples are going to crack or I don't know. This is my first time so I'm just trying to be, I'd rather be overly packed than underly packed if that makes sense. Um, if you guys hear that noise, I'm sorry about that in the background. They are building a house right next to mine. So hopefully they'll be done soon because I don't want too many videos of them banging in the background. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the baby's um, hospital bag. A lot of the stuff for him, they're going to be providing. And so, let's get into my hospital bag. Okay guys, so for my hospital bag, I went ahead and got the whole Freedom Mom um, kit, postpartum recovery kit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need all of this at the hospital or if I'm going to need it at home. But regardless, I'm going to bring it with me. Um, it includes the disposable postpartum underwear, the instant icy pad, maxi pads, um, cooling pad liners, the healing foam, and the top toilet storage caddy. So, <clears throat> then I also got some extra um, diapers. Everybody kept saying that the actual diapers were more comfortable than the huge like pads or whatever so the next thing I got oh by the way I got both of those things from Target from my local Target um, and then the other thing I got from Target are these gray loose pants I actually think I got them a little bit too big to be honest but I just want to be super comfortable leaving the hospital um, and I was gonna get a flowy white shirt depending on what I choose for him to wear I would like for us all to match as a family and so if he ends up wearing the white with the sweatpants I'm gonna wear the white with the sweatpants but if he ends up wearing the green then I'm gonna wear this outfit Walmart has these nice loose pants um, on clearance for $11 I know the greens don't match um, because I got his outfit from H&M and I got mine from Walmart but at least it's close enough um, it's really just for a photo op and for us to be comfortable on our way home and so yeah this is the top nice and loose everybody recommended something nice and loose to come home in and just to be comfortable okay so recently at my baby shower um, I received my first moo if you guys don't know what a moo is uh, you can look it up on TikTok or even Google um, but or ask, no, scratch that. Ask your granny what's the moo moo. Most grannies know what a moo moo is. Um, but long story short, I received my first moo moo. And I ain't gonna lie, I was like, mm. a moo moo was something that I never thought I would like just because of the way it looks. Um, and I'm like, I don't know, it just, it, it's, it gives unappealing to me. And so I received my first Moomoo and fell in love with it, of course. Um, how can you not love a Moomoo? I think I wore my, I think what, the first time I wore my Moomoo, I probably wore it for a week straight. Yeah, that's how much I loved it. Um, don't, come, don't come for me, okay, because of course you only wear it when you clean. But, long story short, I say all that to say, I went back to Walmart, okay. I know I've been seeing all the girls on TikTok, I've been seeing all the girls on Instagram and YouTube talking about hospital gowns from Amazon and things of that nature but hospital gowns on Amazon are like $40 and yes they do have the nice one that um, has the velcro right here that makes it easy for you to nurse 
as well as it has velcro on the back that makes it easy accessible for them to do an epidural and then it's a whole gown but it's forty dollars and you most likely will get blood on it and all the other fluids that come out of your body when <laughs> you go into labor and I just feel like I ain't gonna lie once all that happens I'm most likely not gonna want to take that home I'm probably just going to tell them to throw it away. And so for me, spending $40 on a gown that's most likely going to get thrown away is given no. Yeah, it's given no. So I opted for this gown right here from Walmart. Okay. It was $9.98. Okay, very loose, very comfortable. Easy for me to just pull this down and nurse. Easy and short for them to just check come in and check my vagina if they need to and not too not too ugly not too cute but the whole point is it's gonna get the job done and then to wear with that especially if I get cold in the hospital I got this robe this robe is super duper soft it's made with the same material that they make the moo moves with and let me tell y'all something I usually buy my robes from Target you know, Target robes are like $25 to $40. This robe was $12, and it's softer than my one from Target. So I'm definitely going to be taking this home. So um, hopefully I don't get any blood or fluid on this robe because this is definitely going to be one of my go-tos. So my little gown with my robe plus my little $5 house shoes, a.k.a. hospital shoes. This is what I'm going to be using to walk around the hospital with. Um, and then I have to go back and buy me some socks or whatever. But I'm not really a sock person anyway. So I doubt that my feet will get cold. My feet has been hot my whole pregnancy. But long story short, that's going to be my cute little I'm ready to go into labor look right there. And it cost me less than, what, $20, $25? Period. Next, um, I got this gown. This gown was $7. Um, easy access to the boob, of course. Very nice and flowy. It's more so of a cotton material, so it's not as soft as the other two pieces. But this is just something for me to put on um, after I have given birth and I just want to feel fresh again. Um, that's just like a second gown, just so I can feel clean again. I'm not taking these to the hospital, but these are just like postpartum pajamas that I got um, just to make myself feel comfortable and just to wear something breathable, you know, after giving birth when I come back home. And so I got this extra big muumu. <laughs> this is a muumu, guys. It's pretty much like a big old t-shirt. And I had already loved sleeping in big t-shirts, but yeah, this is pretty much a muumu. This is a large extra large mumu's already naturally fit large um so you don't have to go a size up but i like to go a size up and so that's going to be one of my postpartum pajamas as well as these um this is a two-piece i'm usually not one for patterns that's a whole nother thing uh usually i like more solid colors but all of the things with the nice mumu fabric have patterns and so i just got these um pants with the matching top and the pants is going to help me hold everything in once I got these adult diapers on and so yeah so that's it for um, all of my outfits that I'm going to be wearing I do have to I just ordered my nursing bras so I am going to bring like one or two nursing bras there um, but I think for the most part I, I probably will be braless at the hospital as well as um, some granny panties <laughs> which I'm sure I'm probably going to be wearing those diapers the majority of the time or not wearing any panties at all because they will be coming checking coming in to check me pretty often so um, I think I'm going to bring those just in case but most likely they won't get used the next thing I got is this toiletry bag it's not the cutest toiletry bag. I really didn't want to get it because it wasn't. I really didn't want to get it because it wasn't cute. But I knew I needed a toiletry bag of some sort. So I just got a plain black one. And yeah, it'll match with whatever else I get. Um, 
Then I also got this little set thing to go ahead and fill, fill up with different items. And everybody keeps telling me to like kind of set the environment the way I want. And one thing about me is I love the spa. So I'm really excited to set up my room and make it have that spa feel. Um, I love getting massages. If it was up to me, I would get a massage either once or twice a week. And so um, something that I'm bringing to the hospital is a mask, a face mask, um, a dry brush. Let's see, my favorite, lavender um, Castile soap. I'm also bringing like a body scrub, a body butter, um, just things that, you know, like make me feel good, things that I would usually use in my self-care routine. Um, I'm also bringing, I have these LED um, fake candles. I'll insert a video here. Um, these battery-operated LED candles just to set the mood as well as um, I'm bringing a Bluetooth speaker so I'll be able to set my spa music on and just kind of relax and then uh, I'll also be bringing a diffuser so as you guys can see I'm really trying to like set the vibe and set the tone and make it as relaxing as possible I know something like this usually don't be that relaxing but we're gonna try to do our best <laughs> to make it feel somewhat or as much like a spa experience as possible guys that includes my hospital bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm definitely gonna try to get more videos like this out um, so please like comment and subscribe anything you guys want to see please comment that down below and I will definitely try to get that out to you guys thank you for joining me and watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye